how to play Sound Alerts using Semi when people redeem channel points, follow, or anything else. This is an updated version from the Leon Borg video I made back in the days. This is for everybody that moved on with their life and doesn't use Leon Borg 1 anymore, which you can't download anyway. First thing you need to do is watch this video about how to set up Semi, because if you haven't done that yet, you, you, you gotta set this up before you can actually do this, what I'm gonna explain right now. So make sure that you set it up first. This portion of the video is sponsored by Own.TV. On Own.TV, you can get your own overlays. You can get your own emotes, pre-made ones, but you can make them yourself as well with the Emote Maker. They've got Stream Deck icons and much more. And you know what the coolest thing about Own.TV is? With Code 3, you get 50% off. Link is down below in the description. So to have these sound alerts go off with the channel points, the first thing we need to do is have these sounds in our OBS. I'm just gonna make a new scene and I'm gonna call it Sound Alerts. This is just a test scene collection, okay? So don't mind all the clutter you see. <laughs> and then here we're gonna need to add media. We're just gonna sound, sound. Very original three. I've got this donation alert here <laughs> that I'm just gonna put in. I'm gonna go to advanced audio properties and make sure that it's on monitor only or monitor and output, depending on what you record. But for me, it's monitor only because I'm recording my desktop audio as well. So we got that sound now in here and every time we click on the eye, it will start playing and if we're not on the eye, we're, you know, it's quiet. So basically the way to trigger this is to make the source visible and to turn it off is to make it unvisible. We're gonna go to Semi and make a new deck. You can also use a deck that you're already using. Sound alerts. I'm just gonna call it sound alerts because that, that's clear. And we're gonna make a new square here, create a new button. We're gonna edit the command and we're gonna add OBS, source visibility, change visibility. The scene name was sound alerts, sound alerts, because we see that here, sound alerts. And then the source itself is called sound, sound. This could be different for you because you're gonna give them different names. If this triggers, this button triggers, we wanna make it visible. We want to reset it as well. So we wanna add it another time. We can either copy it and paste it or just make it again, I guess, and then untick this visible. But because we want it to play fully before disappearing again, we want to add the delay. We gotta need to figure out how long the sound is. If it's really short, you can make it like two seconds or something, but this is a longer sound, so we need to figure out how long it is. So I've got the sound here and I'm right clicking, go to properties, details, and we can see it's 11 seconds. This is milliseconds, so how much is 11 seconds in milliseconds? That's 11 thousands milliseconds. And now we're gonna click on save and close or save button. You can also run it to test. It seems to be running. And if we're gonna go back to OBS, it seems to be unvisible. So that worked as well. This sound alert will only play in this scene because it's not added to other scenes. But we could go to another scene uh, like this one, <laughs> just full of other sound alerts that don't play anymore because I moved them. And we can add the scene sound alerts. And because we added this whole scene, these sound alerts, if we add more in here, will all play in this scene because everything that happens in this scene will also happen in this scene now. So make sure to just add all the sounds to one and then add that sound alert scene to the scenes that you want to have sound alerts in. That's the easiest way to let them play everywhere. We can play a sound alert from the button. However, we don't have a way to trigger this button yet. What we can do is we can add a Twitch trigger. Right click and edit triggers. If we click on the plus, we see Twitch. And here we can see this button needs to trigger if there's a chat message, if there's a subscription, if there's a community gift, but here we have channel points. So you can have them trigger for new followers of polls and shout outs and stuff as well, if you like to, but we're just gonna go for the channel points for this one. Here we need to have the channel point name. For this, we need to make sure that we have made channel points already. Viewer rewards and channel points. Manage channel points. Then here with the custom ones, we can add a new custom reward and give it a name. 
We're gonna just call this hype for a second because it's kind of a hype music, right? And we can give them a cost in channel points. Let's say it costs 100 channel points to trigger it. But this is just basically setting up a normal channel point reward. If you wanna know more about setting these up because this went a little bit too fast, I have a video right here explaining how to set up channel points. So definitely go watch that because I'm going through it thoroughly. So what we need to do is we need to create this, but before we create it, I'm gonna copy the reward name and then create. What we can also do is load from Twitch API. If we click on here, we're gonna get a list of all the rewards we have. And this way we can't make a mistake. So now if you see hype here, this is the redemption that we just made. I'm gonna click save. You know that you added a trigger by seeing this pistol right here on a button. So now this button can be triggered by a channel point redemption. Before you're gonna test it, click on save. Make sure that the deck is not disabled. We're gonna go to our channel, click on the channel points here and click on hype and then play it. If you go back in here, you can add multiple of these. If you make them, I recommend that you actually name them. So this one is not named. Recommend changing the appearance and just giving it a name so you know how <laughs> what kind of button it is. But you can add multiple of these buttons here. Make sure that if you wanna add multiple sounds that you add them in your OBS as well because otherwise it can't play. It can't play from nothing. It needs to turn on and off a source in your OBS, which is the sound. I'm gonna be making more videos about Semi because I had more videos about Leon Board 1. I definitely want to make all these for Semi. So it's gonna be easier for you to set up because I think this program can be a bit hard to understand if you don't know how it works, but with a tutorial, it can become a lot easier. So definitely jump into this playlist with me and I will see you right there.